What's your name, sir? Mike Heindel. Because right now you're still, am I correct me if I'm wrong, but you're still kind of trying to figure out where the stud layout is in that wall, not just to accommodate a vent pipe and plumbing from the shower. Yep. Um, but, but also in relationship to these these uh, pocket doors where we need to stop and start that framing right. for them. It's a rain day and waiting on permits. Yep, that's right. So we are talking about the straw bale house right now. Yes. And which we have not started. We have a contract to build. We're waiting on our permit right now from Chatham County in order to get these plans approved to build. We've got the construction authorization and we've got, um, we know exactly, we've got our bids on the septic system so we can plan exactly what our utilities that are going to pass through this concrete slab, right. where exactly they need to be to work with the approved system so far. So we're a little bit ahead of the game considering that we don't have a permit to build. Yep. But yet when we're, when we get that permit, we're going to be ready to roll. Exactly. And we want to know exactly where things are because sometimes, you know, you're waiting on weather, waiting on weather, waiting on weather. And then all of a sudden you got a green light, you can go and you don't want to be sitting around in the office when you got good weather trying to figure out where, where all this stuff needs to be. So, yep. yeah. And then you've got the, that's exactly where I was looking for the, the dryer vent on this side. And then the, um, washing machine supply and drain right here in that stud bay yep so explain to me what what you're doing on the computer right now oh man we are looking at a couple different things so this is our our, our footer our footer right here our stem wall right here and then our uh um slab right here and um, we have a couple things to consider is our toilet, shower, toilet, sink, washing machine, and then kitchen sink are all right here. So we want to make sure we have enough um, fall inside our slab or underneath our slab from pretty much the shower and toilet all the way to where we're going to take it outside the wall. So. Um, I think we have um, enough line here and our drop will give us like 48 feet of, um, of pipe we can accommodate and we're sitting at like 38 right now, 39 feet. So we've got plenty of fall. And re one reason why we're doing this is our fall from the house to the septic tank and leach field is very close um, to having enough. So we gotta make sure we get this house um, high enough when we do the foundation, but we have that fall. If not, we're spending money, six grand on a pump system that's really not in the budget. So this is a drain waste vent system going to the septic? Yes. Through, through underneath the concrete slab exactly. floor? Exactly. Through a, a hole, there'll be a sleeve in the in the um, footer where we run our four inch. Is that in the footer that that's is, underneath? That's looking from underneath? Yeah, this is looking from underneath. So that would be the uh, the sleeve going going through the footer. Nice. And then on top of all that, we need to bring in all our um, hot and cold water supply through this slab also. So we need to we're figuring out where off this corner of the slab we need to we need to identify as our hot and cold coming into the shower, and we need to get it into into this wall right here and then our hot and cold also for the washing machine into this wall here and we're going ahead and taking a, a look at some of our our joist layout and stud layout on these walls so we can we can tweak things left and right and not have a, a stud um go right you know if it was 16 inches from this end going right through our uh, plumbing supply so we're kind of tweaking our where we want to start and stop our layouts yeah, and this gives us the ability to plan for both of those things at once. Exactly. And then when we're on site... We don't have to worry about it. We're not breaking out the computer. We have something that we can dimension right now and yep. print on paper. Exactly. And just and Just roll go. with it when we're framing. And kind of a lesson learned from a previous project 
we had a, a shower and sink going into a, a similar wall and just where the plumbing um, went up for both of them we had to really cheat our 16 inch layout because if you started on the left side a stud ran into the plumbing on the sh on the shower if you started on the right side or the left the opposite side the uh, stud went into the plumbing on the uh, bathroom vanity sink so looking at his layout now we can go ahead and accommodate where we want to bring that hot and cold up mm -hmm. right now you're still am i correct me if i'm wrong but you're still kind of trying to figure out where the stud layout is in that wall not just to accommodate a vent pipe and plumbing from the shower yep um but, but also, also in relationship to these these uh pocket doors where we need to stop and start that framing right for them we're, we're looking at we have two pocket doors here so it's it's a 30 door 36 inch door opening here and here so we have a pocket door that slides into the wall next to the washer dryer and then one into this bathroom wall all coming together so we'll have a, a header across here and a header across here and then where these two headers come together we have a, a simpson um, um basically double joist hanger that'll carry that load and then so we need to be we have point loads which are where like a wall um all that that point carries all of this load here from the header that from the headers spans, yeah, across those doors it spans here. the opening of that pocket exactly. door and carries the weight of those joists exactly uh, we change this 3d model in sketchup to dimensionable prints that are going to give us real hard numbers when we're on site like as detailed as this looks it accommodates for a lot of the general systems in here like lots of layers yes now's the time to figure it out um that's gonna make it easier for us to build a really nice looking home for as cheap as possible and that's how we do it at heirloom builders so check in with us later we're gonna keep on working on this design and we'll see you on the next one peace